Okay, check this out. A man and his pet raccoon spotted at a festival in Niagara Falls and a popular bar. The two even reportedly posing for photos. But tonight, the health department in Niagara County now warning the public of a potential rabies risk. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Ed Dranch on the story for us tonight. And Joanna, there isn't any evidence to suggest this particular raccoon has rabies, but the Niagara County Health Department still wants to talk to the man and potentially you too. Among the tourists and the families holding hands was a raccoon riding on this guy's shoulder around downtown Niagara Falls last week. The raccoon, the man had the raccoon and everything, so it was he must be well trained, a pet. Deborah Conrath was on her bike collecting cans from the garbage when she says she saw this man and his apparent pet. They're real cute animals. I got a cat named Peter, and he's really a character. But unlike her pet Peter, this animal spotted on Old Falls Street last Friday is concerning for the Niagara County Health Department. We are concerned about rabies. That's why Daniel Stapleton, Niagara County's public health director, says he needs some information about this man and his purported pet. We would have loved to get hold of that uh, gentleman to speak with him, but, uh, but that's not happening. Turns out this mystery man was also inside Legend. Bar and Grill on Wednesday. Folks inside didn't know his name, but they say the guy is long gone. And if anybody was exposed to it, we want to make sure they contact us. We'll do an assessment of whether or not they're at risk or not, but because of the seriousness of rabies, we don't take any chances. The woman who snapped this picture did not want to speak with me on camera, but she said the man had a southern accent and was just traveling through the area. She said the raccoon just sat on the man's shoulder and did not interact with anyone else. And there's all types of people out there, and we understand there's nothing cuter than a little baby raccoon, but there's nothing more deadly than rabies. Eyewitnesses told me the raccoon was friendly and the man was from an area where pet raccoons are legal. Still, though, if you have any information, you're asked to call the Niagara Falls Health Department. Ed Ranch, 7 Eyewitness News.